Well hello folks and welcome to another video. So I've been buying things off Amazon again. Do you want to see what I bought? So folks, I've recently changed my car, so I thought I'd upgrade the dash cam. So uh, this is what I've got guys. So this is a, it's a Myo MyView C33 uh, dash cam. I don't know if you can see that in the box guys, but that's what I've bought. So uh, let's have a quick read of the, um, some of the features off the back of the box there guys. So it is, well it films in 1080 full HD at uh, 30 frames a second and uh, it's got safety camera warnings which uh, don't quite know how we're supposed to set that up I'm not sure guys uh, it says free uh, free safety camera data with monthly updates uh, for the for the life of the device and uh, it's a wide angle 130 mil lens it's a glass lens and it's an f2 lens so there you go guys that's what we've got so that's it so just have a quick sort of spin around and look at a box if you know it's not a particularly exciting box guys but there you go that, uh, that's all the information that uh, it's focusing on my jumper isn't it <laughs> put that over there so that's the information guys that's it see if it stopped focusing on my jumper <laughs> but that's it guys so what do we actually get in the box so uh, we get the dash cam guys uh, we get the screen mount and uh, we get a uh, a lead to uh, plug into your lighter socket but that's the box now I'm not going to do an unboxing but I am going to show you how well it's packed so just oops, open the box so uh, well I suppose I could do an unboxing couldn't I yeah well how not right so there's the box so uh, this is it's all very well packed guys see that in the picture so you can see that it's actually focusing on my shirt <laughs> So uh, that's uh, that's all very well packed in there, guys, as you can uh, see. So first bit out is uh, the suction cup, guys. There you go. Uh, what's the next bit? So the next bit out, guys, is the uh, lead plug into your lighter socket. And lastly is the. Uh, Dash cam itself, all nicely packed. Oh, not there's a bit more in there. Lastly, and uh, also some of the usual instructions and uh, quick start guides and all of that. But uh, that's the box. Now uh, it uh, supports up to a hundred and twenty-eight gig uh, card. I think it's class ten. I put a sixty-four gig card in it, guys, but. Uh, it just support up to 128 gig but anyway guys what I'm going to do is get it all out of the bubble wrap and then uh, we can take a better look at it so guys I've got it all out of the box so uh, just give you a quick uh, look at what we actually get in more detail so see it focus so that is the uh, little suction cup which, uh, if anything the last one was anything to go by that actually works quite well so obviously we've got to remember to take that off but uh, that is the uh, suction cup guys uh, dash cam slides into there. I think you can open your, your wire through there, and then it uh, sort of ball ball head on the top, guys. That uh, will move it. So that's the uh, the mount. Um, that's the lead. Fairly long lead. I'm not sure how long that is. But, um, we'll have a look and see if there's anything in the instructions about it. But that's the lead, guys. Plugs into your uh, lighter socket. And what I like about it, it's a uh, you know, got a good, so it comes at a nice angle there, guys. Now, the other one, I well, actually, no, the other lead that I had, I bought separately because the only thing with this one, as you can see, there's nothing on the end. But the other one I bought, I actually bought a separate lead, guys, and that had a USB sort of socket on the end, so you could, like a through socket, so you could plug something else into it, guys. But anyway, that's a, for another story, but that's the... Uh, camera itself, see, you see it's quite tiny which we must remember to take the protection off the lens and uh, there you go guys, that's the actual dash cam itself, quite tiny 
So that's the dash cam guys, so what I'm going to do, now I have charged it up but uh, the little internal battery uh, is not that good so it won't last long so I'm hoping I'm going to try and show you some of the menus but it uh, depends how uh, well the battery is going to last and uh, I have actually got that which is a, a, a phone holder plus phone bank so I may be able to pair it off of that, I'm not sure guys but We'll give it a go. So we're uh, just going to swap everything around and see if we can actually uh, show you some of the menus, guys. So guys, we'll just take a, a closer look around the, uh, the dash cam itself. So we're going to look at the front here. So, uh, you know, I hope it's going to focus uh, quite well. But uh, that's the sort of front of the dash cam, guys. So there's your lens. And I think that's the, maybe the microphone or possibly a speaker or both in there, guys. And well, you can see that, but that's the, the front of the dash cam on the tops the the mount where you mount uh, mount it onto the sort of window little suction cup uh, thingy so uh, on this side so here's your memory card in there guys and uh, a USB for power on there well you can see that one guys so it's on the back of the screen so really we've got nothing on the back apart from the screen and uh, there's an LED status light there so on this side and i don't know how well it's gonna see it's quite dark you see that if i turn it slightly you can see it's a bit dark but that's your on and off button and then that's your up and down through the menu there and that's your select i think <laughs> anyway guys so that's the uh that's the sort of quick overlook overview of the gadget if i don't so what I'm going to do, guys, is see if we can. Uh, I'm going to uh, switch it on and see what uh, what happens. So, guys, we're going to switch it on and uh, see how long the internal battery lasts, and so we can actually have a look at some of the menus. So you just push and hold this one in on the top of the right hand side, and uh, there you go, guys. So we get some sort of warnings, tell us not to use it whilst driving, etc., etc., etc. So there's. Uh, the things that you see on the bottom straight away the miles per hour and uh, we're not going very fast at all so what we want to do now there you go guys it's turned itself off because uh, the internal battery doesn't last that long so uh, what i'm going to do guys if you just bear with me i'm going to try and plug into that little phone bank charger thing there and uh, give it another go so guys i've got the little power bank uh, connected up to it so we're going to just uh, Turn it on, so press the top button to turn it on, guys. And there you go, it'll burst into life. There you go. So we're just getting the little welcome screen, and that's just uh, giving you sort of warnings not to use it. So we want to go into the menu, so that's the top one. So uh, so that's the top one to go in the menu. Next one down is the tick, so that's going to take you into that menu. So file playback is basically, guys, that's the first part. So normal is uh, just your normal um, everyday recording whilst you're driving. Event is if you have an accident, uh, it, it'll actually over it because it's got um, a sensor in it. I can't remember what it's called now, guys, but a geo sensor? No. But it's got a sensor in it, guys, that, uh, um, or if it senses an impact, it will record or save that recording so you can't overwrite it. And uh, the photo, so you can actually take a photo of uh, your dent in your car. So uh, the sound recording will uh, basically ask if you want to, if you're going to record sound. So you just yes or no. So we're going to have that as yes, so we can record sound. Safety cameras, now that is because it's supposed to have, give you warning of safety cameras. I don't know whether you've got to download something or set something up, but uh, I'm going to have to look into that. But I'm not going to go into the menu too much on here, guys, because you're going to have to sit down and read the instructions. Uh, video recording, so what's that? Is we're going into video recording, we'll tick that. So uh, you can have video length so let's see if we click that you know video length so that's set up to three minutes so it'll record three minutes and another three minutes and another three minutes so i'll go back to that again 
Here's your G sensor as I was on about guys so uh, you can change the sensitivity of that. So EV, WDR, whatever that is, let's go down to that. So that's the next one. So we just tick that. So that's on. I'm going to have to uh, see what that, uh, what that actually means. <laughs> as I said guys, the instructions aren't that brilliant. Just a quick start. But uh, so that's the sort of menu and that's where you can go up and down the frequency. This is just auto recording. So let's have a look at the G sensor guys. So that's the G sensor. So that's the impact. So you can have it, you know, literally low to high. Now what I found was in the old one I have like this, that if you have it set too high, even if you hit a bump in the road, it actually uh, set, uh, set it off. So you don't want that set too high. You can have time, uh, time stamps, speed stamps, and uh, text stamps if you want. So uh, system is, basically it's just telling you what it all is, so satellite date and time you've gone into the system now. So for instance, the satellite, that's uh, the satellites we're currently, this thing's currently connected to. Date and time, sound recording, whether you want to record sound, uh, welcome sound, volume. So I've got that set to about mid. But what I think with these settings, guys, you're just going to have to really uh, sort of play about with it and see uh, which uh, which suits. Obviously, restore defaults there, guys. Language. No, we don't want to set defaults, do we? No. Distance is imperial or metric, so we're imperial. So we go back. Um, storage allocation. I just want to show the storage allocation, guys. So, so the storage allocation, guys, is basically um, because you've got the the normal, the um, photography and uh, event. So you can actually allocate how much storage space on the memory card is allocated to that. So most of this one on this one is recorded, which is the white, which is recorded, uh, which is allocated to the normal recording. Uh, the green bit, I mean, well, you can see that. So this white bit here is for the normal uh, driving. The green bit is, well, you can see that, but that down there says the green bit is for uh, the photographs and the red bit is for an, uh, an event which you have an accident, that's it will, that's how much memory card it will, or memory it will use on the card. So uh, it, uh, when you've used all the white up, it won't actually overwrite that. It'll over keep it'll keep overwriting this, but it won't overwrite that until you actually delete it. So that's really it, guys. So I'm going to um, set this one up in the car in a moment, but. Uh, that's really the you know the setting. That's really the sense. But I said I think we're just gonna have to go through it, guys. And uh, wait, wait, wow, you can see that. Uh, let me see if I can. Whoop, I just kicked the camera. So I'm gonna pick the whole lot up and see how wow, it's gonna be a bit precarious. So uh, that's how much you see. So just wear, bear with me, guys. I'm going to uh, I'll, to change the angle of the camera so you can actually have a have a look and see what sort of image we get off the LCD. So guys, that's uh, the image we got off the LCD. It's not brilliant, but uh, obviously it's not going to show up that well on the camera. But uh, that's the uh, the image off the LCD, guys. So guys, that was a quick look at the Myo MyView C330. So uh, as I said, it's a nice little unit. It's a little bit smaller than the uh, the other one I had. So as I said, it's a quite a quite a nice little unit. So uh, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to uh, Put that in the car and uh, sort of use it for a bit and uh, play about with some of the settings and uh, sort of get it how I want it. So uh, that's uh, going to take me two or three weeks, I expect, guys, because I'm going to sort of drive around and try it in different uh, conditions during the day, during the night, bright, you know, just sort of different conditions. So uh, that's going to take me sort of, uh, I'm going to sort of drive around with it for uh, perhaps a couple of weeks in the car before I actually. Uh, take the video out and uh, put it on the computer with this uh, rest of this video guys anyway so uh, that's coming up for you next but uh, for me that's a couple of weeks time
Hello guys, a week or so have passed since the first part of this video. So I went into the dash cam settings and just tweaked them a bit. So hopefully I've got a good balanced sort of setup now guys. So uh, then basically I've just been uh, driving around, uh, driving backwards and forwards to work and just basically using it on a daily basis. So uh, different sort of conditions, nighttime, daytime and uh, whatever the British climate can uh, throw at us. So that guys was the MyView 330 dash cam. Um, definitely worth getting a dash cam. Uh, brand doesn't really matter, whatever you fancy guys. But uh, that one I bought on Amazon, that was uh, £79. But uh, that had the uh, safety camera warnings. So I don't know how well that's going to work. But uh, yeah, as you can see guys, the image was uh, nice and clear, nice and sharp. Now uh, this one actually films in MP4. Whereas the previous one I had actually films in .mov or filmed in .mov. So that one, it was uh, some of the editing software didn't quite like that. It wouldn't give you the audio and things like this. But this one being in MP4 is just a normal MP4 video format. So uh, hopefully it's going to be a lot easier to edit and uh, play about with guys. Anyway, so that guys was the, uh, as I said, the uh, Myo. Uh, dash cam, Mio My View dash cam C330. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of footage, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. So, bye bye for now.